Patrick uh, come in in 30 on your back nine, the front nine. Uh, how would you kind of characterize the round as a, as a whole? I had great control today, which was wonderful. It obviously starts with the tee shots. Um, I was able to put the ball in the fairway a lot, which makes an enormous difference. Uh, you're able to attack a little bit from the fairway versus you know, this Bermuda rough to these greens. You're constantly on defense. So I uh, hit the ball in the fairway a lot, which gave me some opportunities. And uh, I stayed disciplined on my approach shots, uh, but took advantage when I had opportunities to attack. And uh, it in the round, and it added up to a pretty good one. Stats showed today so far that, that you really improved with, with your driving from round one to round two. Do you feel that way as well? I drove it decently yesterday, um, just a few fairways that I just missed. Um, so, like I said, if you're in the rough, even even a few steps off the fairway, you're, you're on defense, um, especially the contours and even some of the firmness of the greens. But like I said, I was just put the ball in the fairway a lot. Um, I'm always going to hit it a decently long ways, and so it gave me some chances to score. You mentioned that you really like this golf course. Uh, why do you like this? Why, why do you like this place? It's a huge change of pace from what we usually play on tour. I, I'm a big fan of, of Mr. Tom Doak, the designer. Um, I like the strategy that's involved. I like that it's not overly um, punishing with lost balls, shots in, in the hazard, but it really makes you think. Um, you know the bunkers, even like some little kind of dugout areas in the rough, are, are really strategic on all of the holes and uh, the big slopey greens. Really makes you have to think not only on your approach shots, but on being creative around the greens. So um, I like that your your brain's kind of needing to be constantly turned on, and uh, it, uh, it's 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 a really fun strategic challenge. I think this is your thirteenth consecutive round under par. What's been kind of working so well recently in the golf game? Yeah, I've, I feel like I've got lost in my process to Im improve. Uh, me and my coach, Jeff Smith, really had a good meeting after the playoffs and just kind of figured out where we needed to get better, where I'm falling short of sort of the elite players out here. And uh, I feel like we're implementing that plan week after week, and it's, uh, it's, it's showing up on the course. Where did you feel like you were maybe falling short? Yeah, I, I wasn't behind tour average, but obviously the elite players in the world are incredible tee to green. Um, you know, Rory's been driving it uh, on another planet almost. He's, he's uh, obviously the best player in the world off the tee, and that's a huge advantage that, that I feel like I'm capable of getting somewhat close to. And then, um, you know, you see guys like JT and Colin Morikawa and John Rahm, the way they the, hit hit their approach shots um, and the way that they're able to attack from the fairway, it, it, it's a huge asset in their game. And I feel like if I can just kind of chip away at getting a little bit closer to those guys the way I put it, um, it I, I should be able to put together a nice year. You were all those guys when you were coming out of college and coming in, and going into college and everything like that. Um, and you've had your opportunities to win over, over your nine-year career. What, what have you learned from some of those experiences that you may put into play this weekend? Yeah, it's a fine line out here, but uh, it, it takes a lot of patience. Um, you know, I can't I can't force a, a win out here on this tour, and I can't control the conditions or the breaks and then what it, anyone else does. So if I do a good job of, of focusing on what I can control and getting lost in my process of playing, uh, I, I, I back myself every time. So uh, I, I feel like I'll have a good chance. Last one from me. What is becoming a father? How's it maybe changed you as a golfer, or maybe your, how you kind of go through your process and everything? Um, with maybe a little less time to put into that. Obviously, yeah, I've been fortunate since I've really met my wife J Jade, and and obviously developed a great, amazing relationship with her and and with her family. It's really kind of changed me as a person and given me great balance off the course. And being able to share being parents to our son now has been just. Uh, it's, it's hard to put into words how amazing of an experience it's been. Um, it's been every bit challenging, but it's, uh, you know, the most rewarding thing I've ever done. And so just having something to, to really ground myself and that I look forward to so much off the course um, is, has been amazing. And I, I still care just as much about being good at my job, but um, I, I feel like I have nice balance on and off the course. You mentioned the course itself, yeah, how you liked it. Is there one nine that plays tougher than the other? I think this week so far the back nine is playing a little bit a little bit more difficult, and I think that's just the back nine brings in more more big numbers. Um, I think the front nine you can make a few bogeys here and there, but the back nine you, it, a, a missed shot can really bring in a big a big number. I think I saw guys making some big numbers on 15 yesterday, um, 17. You know, it's just maybe a little bit more punishing, um, but. 
like I said, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the golf course. I like the strategic challenge. I think it's fun for anyone to play, regardless of skill level. And obviously, it continues to hold up to the test for us. Okay, on a day like this, when there's talk that could be some rain coming this afternoon, maybe 3 o'clock, you know, I don't know what, what time. But, so some of these guys may not get their round completed. Just talk about kind of a relief it is that you got to go come out early today. Yeah, I definitely felt like we got the good side of the draw this week, and it's you never know until it's you know all the way finished. But um, I had kind of got the, the the bad side of it the last couple of weeks, and so it's just kind of how it works out here. And I think I'm going to be pretty fortunate to be on the good side of it this week. And you got a little time to you know there's no delay. There's a little before you tee off again. You got time to work on your game. Or yeah. Relax or whatever you want to do. The, you know, the yeah, we day. we had great conditions, and and yeah, having a, a free afternoon after playing a good round is always a nice feeling. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.